Hey everyone, my name is Will with Atlassian, and in this video we're going to take a look at two aspects of JIRA that are similar but different enough to warrant some explanation. So we're talking about timelines, which are available in all versions of JIRA software, and plans, which is one of the many benefits of a JIRA software premium subscription. So let's go ahead and start with timelines, and here we are inside of a JIRA project. Now we've got some stock information in here. We've got some epics. We've got some issues that make up those epics. Um, and we can see you know, the dates. We can see dependencies between these issues. So for example, we need to finish the project plan before we can start identifying the team who's working on this. Now, as more work is identified, we can add issues to this epic and get a clear visual sense of all of the work items that are required to complete this larger deliverable, this, this epic. We can use this timeline as a planning tool as well. So adding items just like this, and then we can drag them around on our timeline and get a sense of how all this work is related. And with this view, we also get a sense of how feasible our expectations are. You know, resources look very different when the work is right in front of you like this rather than in your head. So having this visual representation of your work helps immensely when planning things out and leveraging your team's skills and capacity. Now, if we hop into another project, we can see that we've got a timeline here as well. And we've also got you know, some epics and issues involved in this project. Now, every project in JIRA software has the timeline feature where you can build this visual representation of your upcoming work to use for planning, scoping, resourcing, etc. So that's a brief overview of what a timeline is. It is a drag and drop visualization of work to be done in a particular project in JIRA. And it's a very powerful tool that helps you sort, organize, delegate, and prioritize work for your various teams. Now, you can also drop a link to a timeline right into Confluence, which will then display a dynamically updating timeline for folks who want to stay on top of progress in this project. So just to show what that looks like. And you can also make changes. Let's just go back to the JIRA project. You can make changes by dragging things around or making edits in the issue itself by clicking into them. There's a ton of ways to wield a timeline to your advantage. So to sum it up, a timeline is where you can plan and visualize work in a specific JIRA project. And that's the important factor between a timeline and a plan, which we're going to talk about next. A timeline is for a specific JIRA project. Plans incorporate timelines from multiple JIRA projects together in one place. So here is an example that I've built, and you can see here that we have multiple projects included in this plan, not just issues from one project like we saw in the project timeline. So now we can see work from multiple projects and get a broader understanding of how it all relates. Now it also shows dependencies across projects, like these issues here. Now without plans, you can still see these cross-project dependencies in the issue itself. So if we revisit that initial project and click into this issue, we can see that linked issue right here in this other project, but it's not in the timeline because that linked issue lives in another project. So plans are a great way to realize the benefits of a project timeline, but at a higher level across multiple projects. But it's much more than just a great display of your work across your entire organization. Um, plans are also a phenomenal planning tool. Now, in a standard project timeline like we saw earlier, you can drag and drop your, your due dates around, you can fiddle with assignees and any number of things, but those changes take effect as you make them. They're not permanent, of course, you can go back and make more changes, but those changes take place as you make them. With plans, you can make changes to these issues, and when we do, you'll see that this button here lights up. And this is really what makes these plans such a phenomenal planning tool. You can make adjustments, you can allocate resources, you can make really any changes that you like in this plan, but it acts as kind of a sandbox environment because none of these changes get pushed live to the actual issues that live in JIRA until we click here and approve those changes. So this lets you coordinate with any project leads or stakeholders on these changes before publishing them. And this is what really makes plans a powerful tool to get a deep understanding of your work across all your teams. And you can make as many of these plans as you like. Maybe you want one for all of your development teams or one just for a small subset of teams that are working on something specific. And then maybe one that includes every team or every project in your entire organization. 
Now we're really just scratching the surface of what plans can do. There's a host of other features, things like scenarios, where you can plan for different outcomes, like an unexpected employee absence. Um, there are saved views, which lets you easily pivot to a specific view of your plans. Maybe you want to focus just on your dependencies. And there's so many more benefits of plans to explore in Jira Software Premium. Uh, to dive deeper into the benefits of those plans, please see the link below in the video description. I hope this helps explain the difference between a timeline and a plan, and that it helps you make the right decision for which version of Jira software is the best for your organization. Thanks so much for watching.